Utopia Documents is designed to make reading the scientific literature easier and more convenient, combining the stability of PDF articles with dynamic online content. It's a desktop application, so you'll need to download and install it first. In this video, I'm running it on a Mac, but it will work just the same on Linux and Windows. And although the menus and window decorations will be a little different, the main functions controls look and behave the same, whichever version you're using. Let's start by loading a PDF file. You can do this from the file menu in the usual way, or simply by dragging one from your filing system into the application window. The first thing you'll notice that's rather different from other PDF readers is this panel on the right, the sidebar. This is where additional information appears that relates to whatever you're reading. It can take a few moments for things to start appearing, and this will depend on the speed of your internet connection, and the exact content and ordering will depend on exactly what information is available online about the article you're looking at. In this case, Utopia has found information from a number of sources. Clicking on the logos shows you what the sources are, and clicking on the section titles expands and collapses their content. The top panel here shows a citation for the article, and you can change the format of this to reflect a variety of journal styles, and cut and paste the text into your own documents. You can even get a BibTeX entry from here, which is useful if you use LaTeX. Altmetric gives you an indication of the impact of this article in social media and online news sites. The higher the number, the more times the article has been mentioned online. Click on the Altmetric symbol to get more details. The Mendeley section gives you references to related articles, and Sherpa Romeo tells you the open access status of the article. And because this is an open access article that's available through PubMed Central, the Bibliography section gives you clickable links to the article's bibliography. If the cited articles are themselves open access, the PDF links will download and open that article in Utopia Documents, without you having to rummage around on the net to find it. If you've downloaded an article through Utopia like this, you can save it for future use using the Save option in the File menu. The controls on the left allow you to control the layout of the Utopia window. The I button allows you to hide and show the sidebar. This button controls the pager, which allows you to jump from one page to another in the article. And sometimes it's useful to be able to get directly to a particular figure or illustration in the article, and this control here brings up the figure browser, giving you easy access to the images. You can also use Utopia documents to explore an article's content in more depth. Select the word or phrase you're interested in with the mouse, and select Explore from the menu that appears. The sidebar will show information from a variety of sources about the term you've selected. In this case, the phrase Mycobacterium tuberculosis from the paper's title gives us links to the relevant Wikipedia entry, related laboratory products, structures from the Protein Data Bank, related articles from PubMed, and up-to-the-minute news from SciBite. If it's not possible to select the text you're interested in from the article body, in this case the term niacinamide appears in an illustration, so can't be selected with the mouse. The search icon here on the toolbar allows you to manually enter the text you want to look up, as though you'd selected it from the paper. Again, the results show up in the sidebar, and in this case, because it's a reference to a drug, we get an entry from the Campbell database, giving us access to the molecular structure and the formula of the compound, as well as other known properties. Some papers, in particular those from the Biochemical Journal or published by the Royal Society of Chemistry, have additional information that can be accessed using Utopia documents. If we go back to the pager for a moment, you'll see that some of the thumbnails have been marked with red corners. This first page here has a table of data, which can be manipulated and plotted as simple graphs. Here the paper has been annotated with the 3D structure of the protein in the figure. Clicking on the play button gives us an interactive version of the molecule. Here on the left, we can see a speech bubble, which means that other users have commented on this part of the paper. Clicking on the bubble shows the thread of the conversation. You'll need to have made yourself a Utopia account to use this particular feature. 